I'm going to be focusing today mostly on what you find under assessment. Here we have a course evaluation title. If you click on that, um, you see course evaluation results. If you click through that, you're going to have to log in with your secure A number and password. And when you do that, you just get a simple search box. So you can use multiple terms in here. It's a smart search engine. Uh, if you put in a last name, let me use somebody who's not in this college, um, you'll get information from multiple databases. So we're currently running three different databases. We are running the IDEA system for everybody who's on tenure track that's coming up in 2013 or 2014, you're still on the old system. So those people were running a paper and pencil system, which is the same as every, most everybody here is used to. And then the last uh, several years, we've also had a system through Blackboard for online classes. So we have to maintain all three of those systems up through 2014. But this search box will get you to the results for any of those that we have available. And if you have an evaluation that uh, you don't see on there, I got a call the other day from somebody who said, I need an evaluation from 1993, and, and then I have to pull out the binder and dig through the, the printed pages. But um, everything that's available in our databases is available through the search engine. You can search first name, last name, both, semester, term, course name, course number, so any I, of that stuff. I could search anybody I wanted to. Correct. But you have to log in with your A number. Right. Okay. Yeah. And can students log into this as well, or just back to the staff? So we have always made our course evaluation information available to students historically. Students can get into this if they log on with their A number. We do have a little check in place that kind of says, did the student participate in the, the IDEA course evaluation system? And currently, uh, I believe that our programmer has in place a thing that says if they've never participated through IDEA, then they get blocked. Mm -hmm. So they have to contribute to get. Uh, and when they log out, they don't have any number, and then they, they can't get into it. And this page can't be, you know, sort of searched and harvested. I'm not really interested in um, helping rate my professor or some of these external things. I'd rather build stuff internally. But I, I, I know a bunch of those folks have course evaluation data, and so somebody had told me that that information was coming out from the registrar's office or something, but I don't know, I don't really know about that. So, yes, students can have access to this if, if they've been participating in the evaluation system. 